Hey, hey, hey. Welcome everybody to Miss Glow's Kitchen where the sugar, spice, and everything nice where we slice, dice, and entice using everything we can from peppers to allspice. What's up my people? Y'all know what time it is? See y'all in the kitchen. Fish packets are on our menu today. So we'll be doing tilapia fish packets and catfish fish packets. So in essence, I'm going to teach you how to go from this that you see on the screen to this. This is the cooked tilapia. Look at that butter, garlic, parsley. Yes. And this is the jerk catfish packet. So you know what I always say, ain't nothing to it but to do it. So let's get to it. All right, so it's pretty much easy ingredients is what you see here. Got the jerk sauce for the catfish. All right, tilapia, catfish. You know the difference between the two fishes. Foil sheets to put it in. So as I said, jerk sauce for the catfish. All right, now for the tilapia, I have lemons, butter, sazon seasoning, salt, onion powder, parsley, and whoops, garlic powder. Forgot to turn that one around. Okay, I'm using dried parsley. If you want to use fresh parsley, you can. I'm using fresh lemons. If you want to use lemon juice, you can. So you can always use what you have on hand. Okay, easy peasy. Hey, don't make it harder than it is. This is a very, very, very easy recipe. The hardest thing about this probably is lighting the grill, and that's not hard at all. So ain't nothing to it but to do it, y'all. Let's get to it. All right, so we take our foil sheets out. I want to cross them over. You don't have to. Depends on how big your pieces of fish are, so it'll just depend. You can just put them right on top of each other. I double them just in case they do get a hole in them or something. I can go ahead and still cook. I don't have to worry about uh, trying to wrap it up or the juice running out of it because the juice is what's going to give that the flavor in the fish. All right, so tilapia first. I'm going to put a little bit, little bit of that um, seasoned salt on it. You can use any kind of salt you want. If you want to use white salt and black pepper, you can. Whatever's going to work for you, because I tell you, between the lemon, the butter, and the parsley, that's really all you need. You need a little bit of salt, and that's about it. All right, so we'll go with the onion powder, the garlic powder. Make sure you season both sides of your fish. Why do we season both sides? Because we eat both sides, so season both sides. Just don't be so heavy with it. All right, don't be so heavy-handed where you just got a big layer of seasoning all over. You don't need that. All right, so you need enough to taste. Fish is going to take on the flavor when it's on the grill. This is great. Great recipe. I love it. Okay, so now I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice on it. Now, just because I don't want to take the seasoning off it, see, I'm going to drizzle a little bit on the top. The other, I'm going to put it around the side. You know why? Because when I close the aluminum foil, the juice, the lemon juice is going to run under it. So it's going to cook into it anyway. Don't even worry about it. We got this. All right, easy enough. There's our parsley. So I'll make it look really beautiful. And squeeze butter. So this is actually margarine. I keep saying butter, but this is margarine. Use butter if you like. It will work. Don't worry about it. Okay, now the thing about this, there's no particular way to close it. Just close it so that you don't the steam doesn't come out. So you don't want the juice running out, but you don't want the steam coming out either. So close it tightly. Alright, so on to the catfish. Same thing. Put your sheets of foil down. However you want to do it. And get your fish in. Now, now, I put two in. If you prefer to put one piece of fish in, that will suffice. It will work just fine. So, you don't have to put... You put as many pieces as you want to put in there. That's what I'm saying. All right, so jerk sauce. Be liberal with this. Put it. Be generous. Put a lot. Put a lot. But it's going to cook into it, and that's what you're looking for. Because well, after this cooks, if you want to add more of it on there, you can. But you need enough on here so that it cooks that flavor throughout that fish. Which is going to do it. It's going to do it on the grill, I'm telling you. All right, so look at that. Some on there. We already had some on the bottom, so I didn't put a whole lot. Just put enough. This is fine. If you want to put more, you can. All right, so now I'm just going to rinse my hands off really quickly. And close this up tightly. So once again, I want to reiterate. You want to close this tightly. You don't want any of the juice being able to come out. But you don't want the steam to come out either. That's going to help cook the fish. So, close it tightly. And we good to go. Out to the grill we go. Here we go. All right, lighting the grill. If you want to know how to light the grill, I have another tutorial on my channel that teaches you how to light a grill without charcoal. 
lighter fluid so this is still charcoal though but it's just without lighter fluid so I slowly I got it going so I'm kind of moving uh, my hotter pieces around in there so that they can burn the other pieces so that's what I wanted to do so this is the case where my grill today is burning slowly so what I did with this charcoal is since I've already got some lit what I did was I just kind of took this paper and just stuck it down in there so what I want to do is I just want to get those hot coals um, a little bit hotter so I want to help them out here so once I help them out we'll be good to go all right so still moving that paper around a little bit so you can see that paper I'm lighting it on this side too Well, catch, catch with no problem, so that's not something we'll have to worry about. We don't need an extremely hot grill, such as um, at 400 or something like that. No, we need those grates hot enough that they will steam that fish and cook it. So it's fish, it's not a heavy meat, so it's not like a sausage or ribs or pork chops or something like that. It's not. So since fish is pretty easier to cook, we don't have to worry about it. So here, so you see me talking, moving my hand. So what happens is I'm going to let these coals catch. And when they get gray around the edges, I'll be right back. All right, check that out. Look down in there. You can see they've, they're turning gray. So I put my grill grates back on so that they could get hot. So now I'm going to stick my fish packets on there. Now, if you're not sure if your fish is cooking or if you're not sure, I'm going to tell you to open the pack and look at it and then close it back to where the steam doesn't get out. So that's going to be one easy way if you're not used to cooking these packets because sometimes timing them won't help because it will depend on the temperature of the grill. So if the grill is a lower temperature around 200 or 300, it's going to cook just slightly, ever so slightly slower. So what I did right there, I cooked the shrimp oil packets on the same day that I did the fish packets. But the shrimp oil packets, that is another video. So check that one out. That one's cool because it's like doing a whole shrimp oil but in a small packet. So no big deal with that. What we want to focus on here actually is the fish packets. So those shrimp oil packets probably take around the same time as the fish packets did. So these fish packets take anywhere between... 10 to 15 minutes to get ready, especially if the grill is hot. So it's not um, a difficult dish. As a matter of fact, it's fairly easy. So, so you see, I'm taking my tongs because it's really hot. I'm going to close it back up. So what we're going to do here, all right, is move those over. All right, so we're going to move our fish packets over. So once we move our fish packets over onto the direct heat, this is probably, as I said, I'm gonna take about 10 more minutes because it's been over there on indirect heat. So it's been cooking in the grill, but no biggie. It's on indirect heat. It's gonna take 10 minutes on direct heat and we good to go. All right, so those shrimp oil packets didn't take long at all. jerk catfish. I'm just checking with that jerk catfish to see. I don't want to overcook the fish. Overcooked fish doesn't taste good. So if that fish is still firm but it's cooked, take it off. There's no sense in overcooking it. It's nasty anyway. Overcooked fish is nasty. So you watch your fish. If you have to open your packets, you do that. Alright? All right, so as I said now, I'm going to close the lid. Once I close the lid, this will take about 10 more minutes probably, okay? And so once that 10 minutes is up, what I'm going to do is come back and show you what this looks like, okay? So as I showed you in the beginning, this is the jerk catfish. Looks delicious, doesn't it? And this one is the tilapia, garlic, butter, tilapia. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time. As always, I appreciate you. Hit that like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.